Hello, my friends. Uh, today, I want to give you a tutorial about the, how to draw uh, the various financial ratios in, the, in, in, in Excel so that you can see the pattern, the trends of the ratio, how they're going up and down. And based on that, you can um, decode them, which means make the interpretation. And if you can find some plus things, the good things and the bad things about the company and give the suggestions, you can do to the, as a consultant, you can advise to the board of directors. So first of all, I would be sharing the spreadsheet with you. Uh, I hope you remember that in the yesterday's lecture, uh, the figures, the illustrations for the operating ratios were drawn. So what I'm gonna do today is that I would do the same thing, uh, but for the current ratio, uh, sorry, the liquidity ratio. And you, and you can see here, I hope I'm sharing the screen with you. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, it's visible. So the, these are the various uh, liquidity ratios, uh, which we have here. And what I'm going to do is now, I'll be drawing the current ratio first. So the first thing first I need to do is, uh, I in the blank space, if I draw here or here or here, insert that, never insert any graph, empty graph here, because otherwise it will pick up the figures which are in the cell. Always choose the empty space. Uh, then you go to the um, insert function. And in the insert, uh, you can see here there is a chart, and you can have various charts, but I think this one uh, is, or this one or this one. So I will take this one, that doesn't matter. I can change the form afterwards also, no problem. So this is the current ratio chart. And here uh, I need to, maybe I chose the wrong chart. I think I should have. Uh, got some other one. Uh, so if I insert and I pick up the chart and I take this one, okay? Anyway, it doesn't matter that the shapes we can change afterwards. Mm -hmm. And here uh, I select the data and to select the data, I have to do nothing here. This, there's a dialog box showing up, but I will not do anything here yet at least. So what I do, I go up and I select the years and the data of the first ratio. I hope you remember that the first ratio uh, that we are talking about is actually the current ratio. And when I click OK, you can see that the data has been recognized, accepted. And I can see that there is a current ratio going, uh, showing here, okay? Uh, you can choose the design of the graph with or without, uh, you know, these uh, squares. And now we have the years on the x-axis and we have the data, the variable figures on the y-axis, but we need to do one more thing. Uh, we need to edit it. Uh, and in series name, I can call it the current ratio because otherwise you have to separate it. Uh, type the title and then it can be a problem. So I, I would rather I would rather type it by myself so that even if you move the uh, the graph here and there, your title will still remain inside the the graph, inside the illustration. Otherwise it can be a kind of mix up. Uh, so I type here current ratio and then click OK. And you can see that the current ratio is typed in. So if I move the graph here, the current ratio title will move. But if I type it separately, if I type it separately, it could be possible that your graph moves here and your current ratio still remains here. So the best thing is that you can actually uh, type the title within the illustration, within the graph itself. Okay, and then, uh, then you can do, uh, you can select the next uh, variable, which is the acid uh, test ratio. Uh, don't worry what it is. I will explain it in the classroom, but um, I'm just, at the moment, I'm only focusing on the drawing part. So once again, I have a, um, you know, the empty space and I 
write down the the function of insert uh, which is here uh, insert the graph the same one i bring it to the empty space and then i click right and i select the data and after i select the data i do nothing here actually uh, it will automatically be adjusted so i pick up the year now the ac test ratio is not uh, series one, but it is series two, but I pick it up. Uh, the word of caution is that while I'm picking up the ACID test ratio data, uh, the current ratio, the current ratio uh, data is also included. So there'll be two series. I repeat, while I'm selecting the data and I'm selecting the data of ACID test ratio or the quick ratio, but you can see that the data for the current ratio is also getting selected by default, okay? So it means that when you see the graph here, you will see two graphs. But the thing is that we are only interested in the ACID test ratio. So the series one would be current ratio and series two would be the ACID test ratio. Series two is ACID test ratio, which we want to keep. Uh, for the current ratio, we have drawn the graph already, so we don't need it again. So the first series I would delete and the second series I would keep. But let's see the data first. Let's select the data first for all the years. Uh, so we have here two and then uh, we see that the two series, as I said, series one is the current ratio and the series two is the AC test ratio. Because we don't need series one, we can remove it. And now we have only series two data. And when we add it at uh, here in series name, we can call it AC test ratio and click okay and now you can see that uh, the data is selected you can see look the first series the current ratio the data is not selected it's deselected now and the acid test ratio data is here and likewise uh, if for example you need to select the data for the interval measure, which is the last series. So we have how many series now? Series one, series two, series three, series four, and series five. So in that case, uh, series five is our, uh, in which we are interested. So what we do here, uh, the, we do the insert thing once again, uh, draw the empty thing, select the data. And the thing is that the, the variable which we are interested in the interval measure is the last series, uh, but the year are here. So no problem, we can select all the data, all the data, all the years, no problem. And there we go. And here you can see that there are, there are five series, but we are only interested in the fifth, but not in the others because we have drawn them already. So we delete it, delete it, delete, delete, and keep. The last one and then you click the edit and in the series name you can call it interval measure you have to type uh, then click ok don't forget to click ok and you can see that now all the data in between is deselected and we only have the first row and the last row and then you can see the data here and the title is also here so if the good the good thing about the title is that if the series is the 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 figure is moved here and there. Uh, if you don't type the title in the illustration, then the problem is that this figure can go here and the other one can go here. So there can be some confusion. So then try not to type manually. So now wherever this graph move, the title will also move. So this is a big advantage of uh, this thing. I hope this will help you. And if you have any questions, uh, you may come and you can uh, you can ask me how I did it, uh, but I think it's, it seems to be fairly uh, straightforward. And thank you so much for watching this video.